Backyard Bee Builder here. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit fun. Um, I wanted to do some window art um, and kind of show you how I do it and how you can do it at home, um, even if you're not really artistic. Okay, so what, do you, what you're going to want to get started is you're going to want to pick out the picture you want. Um, this is the one I wanted to put on my window. Um, so it's just something, some art, some clip art that I printed off of the internet. Um, and you're going to want to have a paper copy of it so that you can draw, draw on it. Um, also, you're going to want some acrylic paint. Um, now, this is just something I got at the Dollar Tree, and so it's really inexpensive. It needs to be acrylic paint, though. Temper paint won't work. It'll actually rub off when the window condensates. So make sure that it's acrylic paint. Um, you're going to need some paint brushes and a dry erase, a small dry erase marker. Okay, um, and that is really what you need to get started. Just to alleviate any worries, you can see that this is uh, some painting we, I had my kids do for Halloween and it comes off really easily um, with just some glass cleaner and a razor blade. Um, it's pretty easy to clean off without any trouble and this is the same acrylic paint that I'll be using today. Try to make a grid on this. By making a grid, you're gonna be able to blow it up later to make it bigger on your window. Um, so for, for instance, on this one, I think I'll make a grid every half inch. Okay, and once you're done with that, you're going to want to do a half inch on the other direction. Okay, once you have that all figured out, then you can go on and make another matching grid on your window. This is going on to be quite big, and so I'm going to go ahead and make a two inch grid on my window. That'll actually make it four times bigger than what it was on my paper. Um, so with that, I'm just going to get a, use a ruler and draw a grid on my window using a dry erase marker so I can erase it later. So if you look at the grid I wrote, I realized that I need to make 10 squares along the bottom and 15 squares tall ways, and that'll give me the right, right area in order to duplicate this picture on the window. Now that I got the grid on my, on my window and on my paper, I'm ready to get started. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and start to trace it with my dry erase marker onto the window um, to give me a baseline for when I'm ready to paint. Now if you can do this freehand, you go for it. Um, but that is beyond my artistic abilities and so I have to have the grid else it just ends up looking all goofy. So here I have my paper and I'm going to set it up right next to my grid so that it's easier to follow. Um, I numbered all the sides and the tops and I did the same on here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go here and on, on square number six on my paper I can match it up with square number six on my on my window here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy whatever it is in that square onto my window. And I'll go through each square and copy it through. And when I'm done, I'm going to have the general idea of what this, this snowman looks like um, on my window. And then it'll be a lot easier to paint it once I've got um, an outline to go off of. After you're done copying the image onto your window, you're just going to want to use some black paint and a thin paintbrush to trace the lines that you've already put on the window um, in black uh, paint so that you'll be able to get ready to color them in. After you're done with the outline, you can get out a bigger paintbrush to start filling in the colors. Um, I suggest you do the lighter colors first as they're easier to cover up. Now once you get to some of the darker colors, I suggest you use a medium paintbrush um, to fill in some of the smaller areas, and but still get a good coverage on it. Now if you do it for the first time and it doesn't cover very well, you can go back over it um, to get a darker color. Now this really isn't difficult, it's just like coloring a picture. Um, you just pick a color and fill in the spot that you wanted to color and it ends up turning out really great. So 
So this is the Backyard Bee Builder. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you can have some fun with some window art. I know I really enjoy it and love the festive designs. So I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.